What's up guys? Today I want to talk about some items that I think is a must have if you have to bug out. Now this is just, you know, my personal opinion and I'm just going to give you guys five items that I think you guys should have and prepare for if there is a bug out doomsday type of situation. And so I'm just going to jump right on into it and start with the number one item, which is water. When you bug out, you're going to need a water supply, a water source, because we all know water is one of the most important things you will need to survive. And so I have in my bug out bag, this filtrated water bottle that I talked about in my bug out bag video, if you guys want to watch that. And this, you can filter almost any type of water, whether that's lake, you know, uh, river, creek, rain, whatever it is, you should be able to do in this is what they say. Now I would, you know, boil it for sure before filtrating it through here, but it's good to know that you have a water filtration system on hand. Now this is a little run and gun situation, but what I recommend that you get if it is an actual bug out situation and a long-term bug out situation, that is if you have to bug out from your home. Now we all know it's ideal if something were to happen, we would want to stay in our home and prepare and fight and be safe in the comfort of our own home because we all know we have everything here. But if it was like one of those uh, Red Dawn situations and the government comes down and they're ready to just put everyone in a little camp, well, you're gonna wanna bug out. So that's the situation I'm talking about here is actual bugging out, never knowing when you can come back home if you can. So that's what I like to prepare for. Uh, and so that's a little water source right there, which is this water bottle. Link will be down below if I remember to do so. I got this off of mypatriotsupply.com. But for a more permanent water supply source, you would want to get like a Berkeley, I think it's a Berkeley or Berkey uh, water system. I'll leave a picture here if you see that. Uh, that right there, that's what you're going to want to get for a survival water filtration system. It's a huge jug. It's going to provide a lot of water and it's going to filter almost any type of source of water is what they claim. And so I highly recommend getting one. I myself have not got one yet, but that is a near future purchase. So number one is your water source. Number two, in my opinion, would have to jump over to a firearm. I think after water, everyone's gonna need a firearm for a bug out situation. Why? Well, if you run into people, you're gonna wanna be protected. If anything were to happen, you're gonna wanna have a source of protection as well as possibly a source to capture some type of food source, deer, you know, I don't know where you live at, but it could be hogs, it could be, I mean, any type of source of food. It would be nice to have something that you can get that down with. And so if I were to choose one, if I could only take one weapon with me, it would be my, well, it would be this one, which is my AR pistol. It's very small and compactable, uh, so it's lightweight compared to others, and the size is great just to throw on you. Um, I know there's better ones out there, so feel free to you know, choose your source of firearm, but this would be my choice as of right now with the guns that I do have. Um, if you want to see a collection of my guns, I made a video previously, you can go back and check that out as well. But this, you would want this uh, for protection against people. If there's, you know, riots or, you know, people are trying to go out there to scavenge, you're going to want something to protect you as well from, you know, wildlife, depending where you live. And you can't go wrong with having a firearm on hand. You just have this sense of confidence it gives you a little courage when you're out there as well. So picking a firearm, I'm curious, what firearm would you choose for your bug out situation? You probably would want a, the reason I chose a rifle, particularly this one, is because you do want a good long range. So this is a medium range rifle, right? You can work with it close range, but you can work with it medium range as well. So you get both. Whew, my dog just scared the living poop out of me. Oh my goodness. Anyways. That's why I chose this. It's a perfect range, uh, short range and medium range. So I'm curious, what weapon would you choose for your bug out situation? So moving on, we have your water, we have a weapon source. Now we have a fire source, especially depending where you live. I'm in Missouri and it can get cold out here in the winters and you're gonna wanna stay warm. And so you're gonna want a source that will provide fire when need be, a reliable source as well. So right here, if you can see that, I have this um, electric little, uh, it's like a little candle lighter is what they say, but you can light paper with this and probably some Kindle as well. And I have that in my bug out. But 
Something you can't go wrong with is a nice little steel striker. A steel striker you can't go wrong with. So I have one of these. You want a fire source one, you know, to boil that water, uh, to heat up your food and for warmth. And it also can be used for an SOS signal as well if need be. So it would be water, it would be gun, it would be fire. Next up, number four would have to be an ax. Because if you're bugging out and you don't have a place to stay and you're just going off the land, well, you're going to need something to provide that shelter for you. And that's where the axe comes in. You get yourself an axe. That way you can chop down any trees you need to chop down for shelter, but also for fire. You're going to need a lot of wood to support that fire for your food and, and for you know warmth as well as boiling your water. And so... Having an ax on hand that can act as a way to get your shelter and your heat is important. So I think everyone should have a type of ax or a, a you know a pretty big knife that they can at least get some you know bigger limbs off the tree if you need be. But an ax. And now from an ax, we're going to move on to number five, which would be a vehicle slash a plan slash a location. So I put those all in one because they all kind of collide together. So if you're bugging out, it would be ideal if you can use a vehicle to get to your bug out spot, right? So if you had, you know, maybe that's a Toyota 4Runner or your Jeep Wrangler or, you know, your Tacoma, whatever the case may be, if we could get to that vehicle in order to bug out, that's prime. And so you're going to want a bug out vehicle for that situation. And I am actually going to record a video on my bug out uh, a video on my bug out vehicle here soon. So look out for that. But you're going to want some sort of vehicle if you have to bug out to another location. And you can have, you know, maybe that's a boat, depending where you live, or, you know, a four wheeler, or maybe a little motorcycle. It would be ideal to have a vehicle. Now, you might not even be able to use a vehicle. So that's why I threw in a plan. Because you're going to want to plan when it comes to bugging out. You don't want to just bug out and be like, oh my gosh, what do we do? Where do we go? You're going to want to have a plan, especially if you have family members that you guys want to come together and say, hey, this is our meeting point. This is where we're going to go. This is what we're going to do. And it is very important to have a plan when it comes down if you had to bug out for any situation. So a plan and a location. You're going to want to have a location that you know you're going to bug out to and that you can have a good source of water, a good source of shelter, a good source of you know life, wildlife, all of that. It would be ideal to find that location beforehand and have that as a meeting point so that your family members know where to go as well. If you have property that you plan on bugging out, then you're one step ahead of all of us. It would be ideal if you had your own property you know, out there in the middle of nowhere that you can go to. But like I said, if you can't even get into a vehicle, that would be rough trying to get there. So having a plan, having a location, a vehicle would be ideal as well. Now a bonus would be a medical supply kit uh, or a med kit. Uh, that would be an ideal thing to have. Now that didn't make my top five because this is my list and this is what I chose, but obviously medicine should be with you when you're bugging out at all times. That should just be a must. So I really recommend having a medical supply kit ready to go with all your basic needs just in case you run into a situation where you're going to need one. So a quick recap, you got your water, you got your gun, you have your fire, you have your axe, you have your vehicle, plan, location, and you have your medical supplies. So that is what I recommend a good starter to have for a bug out situation. Like I said, I want to know what weapon you guys would choose if you guys had a bug out. Let me know down below because I might want to check it out myself. Well, that's it for today's video. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of these types of videos. And follow my social media. I have a personal page as well as a tactical Christian page where I like to post my gear and some creative shots as well. So if you feel like it, follow me there to stay updated. That would be awesome. Now remember, no matter how much you prepare, without Jesus, it means nothing. No matter how much you prepare to be safe, if you don't know where you're going after this earth, then it means nothing. So until next time, stay safe and God bless. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like pop. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in.